I have never seen this room before. Transformers, railroad ties. Hello, scientist. I got the wrong weapon out. Activate. Scabbard. Drop item. Lots of burnt out bionics. Alright, I think this is going to go on forever. Or until we get to the major lab complex, which might be cool, but not really something I want to deal with right now. <laughs> So yeah, this is, uh, I was wondering what this room was when I saw this little entryway, because this by itself was kind of odd. What is this? Laboratory train controls. Bypass security, just quit. I don't want to mess with that. Okay, well, we've got uh, railroad tracks, and if we follow those, I believe they can lead us to a large laboratory complex, so that's pretty cool. Make a note of that, which eh, I guess we probably don't need to since we got this little thing going on. Uh, train tracks going north. All right, let's keep searching around. Uh, that's right, west is our next direction. Yeah, that's my understanding. I've heard talk of a central lab, but I've never actually found it or been to it myself. Good to know that we've got it as a possible direction, because I'm about out of useful laboratory <laughs> places I can go. Yeah, let's have some Pilsner. Alright, another stair down. Okay, so we got a bedroom. We can take a nice nap. Steel toe boots. Just waiting for the stream to settle down, apparently. I think the stream's still working. Everything shows good on my end. Let me know in chat if there's any kind of problems going on. Alright. I um, think I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> take a nap right here. We're tired and hungry. Alright, you can wake up anytime, dude. Jeez, that was a long sleep, little man. Took all my remaining scrambled eggs to get out of that. Alright, so we got stairs down. So we found train tracks. 
And then stairs down so far. Where do we come in from? Right there. Alright, checked all that. Checked that. Those. So we can go south. That's it. Another stair down. I think I already have Pretty much all the lab journals. Might be missing some. Ah, another autodoc room. Yay! That means more anesthetic kits for us. Yay, anesthetic kits! Alright, who's in containment? Cyborg, cyborgs, and another shock zombie. <laughs> Alright, we know about you, Shack Zombie. You're Trixie. But, I don't really need to get access to the containment, because with the 0.5 spawn rate, I keep getting absolutely nothing in the room. I haven't seen one yet with something useful in there for me. Okay, so we can go pretty much every direction from here. Um, go back to the north, though, and check this for this direction out. Uh, this looks sort of bad. Alright, nope. We're okay. I'm still waiting to see my first duct tape in one of these dressers as well. They keep refusing me. Nothing north. Oh, we got something moving. Cyborg? Yep. Come here, you. Nothing again. Uh, sure. Lots of stairs down this time. Alright, three by three, don't care, don't care. Good job, Betsy. Whole lot of nothing. Alright, can't go south, gotta go east. That's another autodoc room. Or it's the same autodoc room. Same autodoc room. <laughs> Alright, I just went around and got to it from the other direction. Alright, so east we go. Because we can't go south? Oh, we can go south. Alright, south we go. What do we got? Good old barracks, and there's noise. Um, I'm going to avoid the barracks for now. Oops, actually, let's come back in. Map, ah, note. I'm just getting tired of dealing with grenadiers. Well, oh, alright, we've got a living area. Soup! That'll help. Um, no, let's just take the soup with us. Oh, look at that! That was nice of them. <laughs> That was very nice of them. Now I can actually boil my water and get all that other good stuff taken care of. Uh oh. Manhack! Come here, Manhack. Come here. Hunk! Ha! Ah. No good bionics. No bionics of any kind. Alright. 
Oops, wrong thing to do that with. Oh no! I just got mutated. We got rough skin mutation. Which, if I was going to get mutated, I guess that's semi-okay one. <laughs> No gameplay effect. So, we just got irradiated a pretty good amount. I'm going to have to keep an eye out and maybe take some Prussian blue. If I, I can't remember if I found any Prussian blue. Oh, dielectric capacitance system! We got a winner! That's definitely going in the body. So, at least we got something out of one of these dorks, finally. Okay, that is a definitely taking advantage of that. I got lots of purifiers. Clean water, bacon. Let's make a note. I keep looking for these areas. Living area. That way I know where to come back if I need water or to cook something. Alright, so check both of those. Got two more. Ooh, sewing techniques for designers. That might get me the sewing skills that I needed. I don't need charcoal. Or the tailoring skills, I mean. More antibiotics. I got so many antibiotics. Alright, so this one is done. Nothing there. I can't tell you 100% Azrael on exactly where the item drop rate kicks in. Um, I know it is true for items generated in the world, of course. But I don't know whether butchering is affected by it. I don't think so. And uh, I, I'm not sure. I couldn't tell you 100% whether it kicks in at those times. All right, this is back. Oh, I'm just too lazy to do it. I know how to do it. I've got tutorial episodes teaching people how to do it. I just never bother. <clears throat> there aren't enough of them for me to really worry about. I can usually fairly well remember things. Um, kind of running out of places to go. Can't go south. Uh, can't go east. North takes me up into this area. Can't go east from here. Oh, yes, I can go east from here. All right. Oh, not far, though. Another containment. So I'm not excited to find another containment. Uh, it's looking like a short level, though. Can't go east. North goes to the train tracks. So went nowhere. Three by three grid can't go west. Yeah, we're we're pretty much done except for heading south or going down another level. So this is floor four. So, 
way down. And this is the way I came from. <laughs> uh, Goddamn game. All right, guess we're going to try to find another way down. Didn't even stop to look. <laughs> Just immediately walked back upstairs. Oh, party full, huh? Anybody else coming up the stairs? Okay. Guess we'll whoops, butcher him up. Power storage I'd like to grab, but uh, I have to grab next. So... I'm going to have to make the trip all the way back up top, basically. Or do I just leave stuff here? Let's just leave stuff here and keep looking. Shift everything to there. Okay, did I find any other downstairs, by the way? I think that might have been the only one. That's the only one that I mentioned. Um, so we got shot once, and it didn't destroy us. So I'm thinking, do I take the chance of stepping downstairs again? Oh, it's the treasure room. Well... <laughs> All right, so the robots are the are firing at the uh, bio uh, bio operators and the scientist and uh, yeah, fusion pack to go with the fusion gun, quantum solar panel, UPS battery, laser rifle, laser pistol, and computer printout. So, some fusion guns. <laughs> Um, I think the lasers, yeah, the lasers fire off of UPS charges, and then the fusion gun needs the fusion cells, which they give you a fusion pack, but still, once that's gone, you're never going to get uh, refueling or replenishment on that thing. I don't know what the computer printout is. Hmm. So, yeah, this is not optimal. <laughs> the one stair drops me right into the middle of uh, the sentries. Now, I'm... I'm really tempted to sit here and shoot these sentry bots. They can't see me. Very dark, and they're, they're both kind of dealing with other things. So I'm thinking I should take advantage of this and pop these sentries. But I should do it first. I should step upstairs first, get my gun out, then step back downstairs, I think. Oh, I've still got it with me. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, I've got it right there. So I've still got the scar with me. And I'm worried about how much it's going to take me to uh, to wield it. So it's going to cost 190 moves. That's like two turns. I hate to do it, but I'm going to come upstairs. We're going to wield the scar. Put that in there. Go back down. All right. Because I can easily deal with this stuff. I think there's another sentry robot likely over here. Let's try to shoot this one right here. 
So we're going to do a precise shot on that. It's going to cost ooh, 360 points. Youch! Okay, that's not ideal. I don't want him to come towards me. Really, really wish he hadn't come towards me. The real serious danger here is later on, if I step down the stairs, these robots could be sitting right here next to the stairs, and I'd be instantly dead. So do I dance around in here? Yeah, I'm nervous. Uh-oh. Now I'm stuck in between two robots, and I think the southern one might have just killed the robot, or the uh, bio-operator. Oh no, he... The, the northern one killed the scientist? Yeah. Ah! And the northern doors got... Lights. That's not ideal. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> this is this is so dangerous. That's two down. One more that I know about, and I think there's another one in the southern corner. Keeps stepping out of my range. Ouch! Nearly dead. I think I might let the explosion kill the other one. I'm gonna go for this one. Oh crap! <laughs> that was almost really, really bad. Ah, stepped out of range again. Is that the one? Okay, so this one's at severely injured. So that's four. Four down, and noise coming from the other side of the door. Oof. This is a rare thing. Vorm doesn't usually uh, run around in the treasure rooms chasing sentry robots. <laughs> Vorm's usually more of a nope, the fuck right out of here kind of guy. Uh, I'm only down here because of the opportunity it gave me. Having my pretty good shooty gun with lots of ammo and decent AP, I figured it would take just a couple shots to kill each one of these. And having the distraction of the other zombies in the room initially. So, we got to keep circling the room, double check to make sure there aren't any other sentry bots. That's four dead. And then i got to remember to go... get rid of the uh, corpses of the bio-operator and the scientist. So now the problem is I don't think I can get in this glass with a pickaxe. The computer's been blown up so I couldn't hack it anyway. But I don't think I have a way to get through this. So Closed reinforced glass door. I'm pretty sure a pickaxe won't go through reinforced glass. You've got to have decent strength and a sledgehammer. So. <clears throat> unlocked? Oh, it is unlocked. Why the hell is it unlocked? <laughs> I guess I would have figured that out eventually, but uh, that seems a little odd. Huh. Alright, I'm going to go around and get rid of some bodies before I forget. Zombie Bio-Operator Corpse. MBR Vest with Kevlar again. Butcher that guy. 
scent vision. <laughs> All right, so we got scent vision. Another one I've never actually looted before. I uh, I'm never gonna install that, but. Casings and springs, casings and springs, bleach and a scientist, oxygenator. Increases the ability to extract oxygen from the air and allows extracting it from water. Will automatically turn on when drowning. Turn on to recharge stamina faster at moderate power cost. That one's actually pretty dang cool. Definitely grab, well, I'll try to grab both of those. Another scientist. Nothing out of him. Alright, stop running. Get your stamina back. Do a final circuit around the room. I think that's everything except for the goodies inside the treasure vault. Yep, room is clear except for the treasure vault. Alright, so... Quantum solar panel. Oh, my bubble car can get an upgrade. All I need is about five more levels of electronics. Um, yeah, it's also thirty pounds. I'll take the batteries and the UPS. I'm not sure. I'm just going to take me a few trips to get the rest of this stuff out of here. Computer printouts. Activate. Flashlight, read, computer printout, atomic battery mod, and a reactor core expansion device. Okay. Raise electronic skill to six. <clears throat> and it requires electronic skill to six. Love those. Print with a man center. Right. Atomic battery mod. Yeah, somehow I didn't think so. Um, fusion pack and fusion rifle, and we're just about full. Inventory, fusion gun, reload, fusion pack. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> Does it only hold two at a time? And you have to have the pack with you? Is that the way this is working? Uh, can only hold two rounds at a time, but a special superheating unit causes its bolts to be extremely deadly. 15 AP, 52 damage, 30 range. Oh, and it uses UPS charges. Yeah. Alright, it's been forever since I've been able to successfully use a fusion gun. So... <clears throat> This will be more interesting once I get that Mark II power uh, relay set up in my body. <laughs> Theoretically, I think I can fire this thing via my internal power supply. Um, so yeah, turn the flashlight back off. I'm going to have to come back for the rest of the stuff. Yeah, just use the standard UPS charges. Developed by the R&D outfit Aerial Labs. Initial performance rivaled RivTech's finest with rumors flying about corporate skullduggery. Okay, so yeah, we'll have to come back for that. Um, let's dump everything here by the... Okay. 
So this shows other ladder positions. Yeah, so there is one down there. Huh. Alright. Yeah, there was one there. And I think one there as well. Alright, so I didn't have to go down right into the uh, <laughs> treasure room. Um, so we can go west, we can't go south, can't go east, but we can go north. That shouldn't be... Yeah, I figured that'd be the case. Another prison containment. Up plus containment. Alright, so over here we had some movement. <laughs> that's another one. Well, that's entertaining. Barracks? Nope. So, three ways in. That's kind of weird. And yeah, we still have the train to uh, to deal with. But this is the bottom floor. All we have is two containments, which I'm not in a big hurry to pop open. Um, it'd be nice to get certain medicine out of them, but uh, that's the only thing I can possibly get that'd be useful. Um, and it'd burn up a lot of food, so I want to get the... Uh, some of this stuff sorted out and get some installs done with my uh, cybernetics before I... Oh, that's part of the containment. Before I do anything else. So, let's grab some stuff and head back up. Let's grab the CDMs, the UPS, which was more useful when I had my operating Humvee that had the UPS recharge station. Fusion gun and fusion pack. And batteries. Alright, All right, dropped a bunch of stuff here. Up we go again. Up we go again. Is there another one right in here? Um. Yeah, there's, an, there's nothing here as well. Where did it go? There it is. It's this way, I believe. There we go. Drop. I guess I actually need to take all this stuff down to the floor with the auto dock. So oxygenator is a maybe. Um, Should have brought another backpack or something just to make this sorting around a little bit simpler. Three. That's definitely not everything, because I should have joint torsion and some other stuff. There we go. Joint torsion. Don't care. Maybe some other time. Maybe now. Don't care. Uh. 
nah, I can get around that. Alright, got 12 anesthetic kits. So, these three are for sure. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I got 10 total here. 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that would leave two spares for any other cool stuff that I find. Cycler unit would cut down on my food and water, which has been a problem, so that actually might be worth it. Air filtration. Um, what I don't have here is more power generation. Hardly any power generation, actually. Joint torsion is not enough. So those three for sure. Cerebral booster doesn't take any power. Diamond cornea doesn't take any power. That's only useful if I can actually get power to begin with. That will slowly gain power. I don't think that takes power either. That one I think you have to activate. I can't remember. Uh, let's go take one more look. I thought I had a few other CBMs, but I either left them back up at the main base or I'm not sure what I did. Oh, actually, they could be back at the uh, other. Yeah, because I don't have the ethanol burner here either. So, do I try to make another trip back over to this stupid place? Kill the Hulk, kill and or lead away anything else that's near it, and then grab the rest of my CBMs that I left sitting outside the, uh, the stairs. I think I do these guaranteed installs first. Doesn't really matter if I do them now or later. So let's get these first ones popped in and then uh, we'll get the rest done. Okay, I want those for sure, those for sure, that for sure. These I can wait on for a bit. That I can wait on for a bit. All right, let's get these installed first. All right, install. I guess I didn't have to pick them up. Uh, power storage, please. Install power storage. Install power storage. Rebel booster. <laughs> Long sleepy time. This is probably going to be similar. All right. Um
I don't think I lost the ethanol burner. I think I left it at the top of the stairs at the other lab when I got chased away by the uh, surprise Hulk <laughs> and his friends. I'm pretty sure we're in the area. So that's what I'm debating. Do I hop over there real quick to make sure I didn't leave behind something important? The ethanol burner is going to be fairly important if I don't have any of the other power generators. So I think I'm going to hold off on these for the moment. So we'll just leave these right here for now. There we go. Zero active, four passive. So Cerebral Booster and Diamond Cornea are just the plus two to int and perception. Which is good. Joint Torsion Ratchet generates power, and the Recycler Unit just helps me digest more efficiently so I don't have to eat or drink as much. And that will be helpful long term, especially given the situation I'm in. So, let's, whoops, close that up, <laughs> up upstairs. I think I am going to make the trip over to the other spot. Um, shouldn't need those. Do I want to take any of the fun stuff? First, let's take care of our hunger and thirst. Um, I don't have any water with me. Where did my water go? I was carrying a gallon jug of water with me. Um, <laughs> where did my water go? Not here. Not in my inventory. Didn't drop it with the PBMs that I remember. Now I had two different gallon jugs, one with clean water and one with dirty water. I was carrying the clean one with me. So it's not on the ground over there with the CBMs. Let's head back downstairs. Maybe I dropped it into one of the lower floor piles. Yeah, there we go. There! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh my god! I almost forgot the dielectric capacitance system. <laughs> Alright, let's grab this rest of this useful, useful stuff. Alright, we can leave the 2x4s. Actually, let's just head up and drop this off before I forget again. Definitely got to make sure the dielectric gets installed. That will be a huge benefit once I get some power generation. Just go make sure we've cleared everything out. So I don't forget stuff I've got laying around <clears throat> again. Okay. So that's the last of the treasure. The only thing down here on this bottom floor now are the two <clears throat> containment rooms. The floor immediately above it, and we've got the train tracks. Should we Get in the mood to go explore that. At least we got a fairly quick and easy route up and down the stairs now that I've remembered where things were at. All right. I've still got five anesthetic kits. I've got four or five things laying on the ground over there, only one of which is super critical. But I still want to go pop over to that other location, so let's get our thirst taken care of here. That's good enough. Eh, go ahead and full. Alright, 
let's try to get out of here and back again without... Ah, oh, crap, it's dark. It's 5 a.m. All right, downstairs. Fast time. Back upstairs. Don't want to do that while on this Z level, so I because I don't want to let the uh, fungaloids have time to spread. Oops. All right, let's see if we can get out of here and. No, don't want fungus. Get away from me. Alright, we're coming up on the Hulk. Spitter zombie. Right there, up to the right, or the left. So spitter zombies around the side. Coming up on the entrance to the lab, and I don't see anything other than the spitter zombies so far. Feral hunter, feral predator. Now it's getting a little more interesting. Feral predators down southeast, hunters way up north. Um, yeah... Do I try to run in and grab stuff and run out again? Rollerblades! <laughs> Loves me my rollerblades! Rollerblades plus dielectric uh, CBM means running through town is a, such a much easier process. Um, yeah, still alive, Quantum. I'm back to the side of the... <laughs> Hulk incident. Trying to decide if I can afford to try to run in and grab my stuff. Uh, they're close, but nothing spotted me yet. I think that grappler is probably going to see me. Alright, let's try to spin this thing around, see if I'm still undetected. Still undetected. All right, let's risk it. Um, let's leave it running. No, let's not leave it running. I'm not sure how much noise an electric car makes. I think it's really quiet. All right, still nothing seeing me, but I got the zombie coming right up in front of me. Let's activate the katana. Alright, if I come out of this thing and there's a Hulk, or if there's a Hulk hiding in here, I'm going to be pretty damn annoyed. Okay, there's the ethanol burner. Um, what else do I care about? Not much. Grab my serums, my UPS, and some of my power storage. None of my power storage? <laughs> I have to make a second trip, or maybe even a third trip. I don't think I have the um, technical skill to actually make the level 2 power storage anyway. So it'll be a while before I can take advantage. Need the toolbox and the pickaxe also. UPS. All right, what's what's coming at me here? Come and get me. All right, I think we're still clear of the big nasties. Just can't quite get all seven.
I'm worried the rain's going to stop and the visibility is going to increase. One of them's going to spot me. Okay, sure, we'll grab that. Um, I think that's all I care about. We've still only done one level of that ice lab, so there's more potential there for a later time. Okay, let's head on back. Dodge the fungal one more time. So I'm going to have to think, do I uh, try to investigate the railroad tracks? I've never followed the railroad tracks. They're a relatively new addition. I've heard that there's a central lab complex of some kind that they can lead to. Ah, hello, huge boomer. Stay away. Uh, lots of fungus to the south. Stop driving. Get away from my vehicle. Yeah, I'm not liking that. That is not a good thing. That's why I'm really debating this train track thing. <laughs> uh... Yeah. Let's get this CBM installation done before I get it overwhelmed by fungal here. These things are way too close. All I need is the ethanol burner. I think that's pretty much it. Um, no, I think I'm going to hold the rest of my anesthesia kits for better stuff. They're hard to come by. I've got five anesthetic kits, and I've got four CBMs I'm thinking of installing. Dielectric is absolutely going in. Ethanol's absolutely going in. Uh, I think all four of these actually I want to go in. I need the ethanol burner to give me quick power-ups. I've actually got a still back at my base that we uh, found somewhere. I forget where. But we can cook down alcohol to uh, ethanol. Yeah, I think I'm going to put all four of these in. Alright, install. Absolutely the dielectric is going in. Install the power armor interface. Ethanol burner. So, it comes down to the oxygenator. I got two kits left. Improves the ability to extract oxygen from the air, allowing extracting it from the water. I could care less about the water effect. Turn on to recharge stamina faster at moderate power cost. That could be pretty important in certain times, but I don't know if it's worth a anesthetic kit. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. What the hell?
Wondering if this will help against the fungus stuff. I think it does. Although, eh, why would it? Because you need full full body protection against the uh, fungal infection, not just uh, mouth protection. Gas mask, for example, won't protect you from getting a fungal infection on its own if you're naked. Uh, I'm going to say no to that one. Let's do the oxygenator. All right. We'll pick up the air filter and take it with us for now. Not sure if we'll be back, given the dangerous nature of the uh, fungus nearby. <clears throat> so it all comes down to that stupid <laughs> railroad. I had no idea how long I might be on that railroad kit or railroad. Uh, tunnel to get to anywhere. If I had computer skill, I might risk it just to try to uh, hack that computer. Computer 1's not going to do it. I haven't found any books for a higher computer skill. <laughs> Could I build a small car in there? That's an awful lot of dragon frames <laughs> up and down stairs one at a time because they're so heavy. I, I don't think I would be uh, bored or brave enough to do that. <laughs> um, yeah, motorbike or a little tiny thing might work. Let's have our canned chicken. And hold off on the rest. So our food supply didn't actually go down very much at all. We got this done pretty quick. So this lab is done except for the train tracks. Ice lab, we've only done the first level. Actually, I can delete that note now. Uh, I do have the fire. I got the soldiers and the bio operator still in that uh, that lab. Or I try to go in that barracks. So, do I head back there and finish those guys off and get that barracks that I popped open? Or do I head back to the original base and reset what I'm doing and where I'm doing it? Um. Yeah, I can probably get the survival or the survivor suit put together. I'm not certain I have all of the parts. Uh, the random components that are necessary. Hmm. be a pain.